Paula by K. Marie. And y'all know what time it is. It is Comedy Mondays, honey. Yes. <laughs> so today I have a very special video for you all, okay? And today's topic is confidence from a man's perspective. Listen, okay, so I have, <laughs> I have with me these five young men here, okay, and we're going to get into it, okay, we're going to talk, <laughs> you know what, I <laughs> so, I feel like I just got taller, <laughs> listen, let me see y'all, okay, so, I'm just going to go through and just do a little small introduction of each of these men, okay, so, First is Yaquim, okay? He is an entrepreneur, all right? He got a bunch of businesses, okay? So, he, so he's out in Haven, right? And then I have Patrick, who is an entrepreneur and politician. Okay, Google, do what you gotta do to get the deets, okay? Don't Google. <laughs> Don't Google. Don't Google. <laughs> and then I have Alondre, who is in financial services, okay? And he helps you to get where the money resides, okay? So book him, all right, book them all for whatever you need. I got you, I got you. For whatever you need, book, okay? We got it, we got it. So what we're going to do is we're kind of just going to dive into these topics and just get a different point of view. I know every other Monday I post a video regarding confidence for women, but it's good to hear a different perspective. So we have three men, three different backgrounds, and they're just going to give us their wisdom, right? I got wisdom? Yes, you have wisdom, Patrick. <laughs> Yeah, wisdom. Wisdom only yeah. comes from experience. Oh, no, okay. I got the way you're supposed to be a smart one. I go, if, I, if I'm a smart one, we got a problem. <laughs> we got a problem. Go so, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ask a question. I have a couple questions to ask. And then you guys can just take off from there. Cool. Okay. So, I will say I reached out to a couple of women who I know just to ask them, what questions would they ask a man in regards to the topic of confidence? So these are questions that are coming from directly from women. I did not think of these questions. And so you didn't share them with us beforehand. I so this no, is no, no. It's not even peak. So we go into this blindly, okay? We yeah, need the no. real tea, okay? Right. You do it. Right? That's the best way to do it, tea. You yeah. know what tea is, Pat? I'm drinking coffee, so no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fill you in later. All right. All right, so let's start easy. The first question is, how do you know a woman is confident? All right. Who's, who's starting? <laughs> how do you know a woman is confident? I mean, I think there's so many, there's a lot of variables. Yeah. I don't think there's one. Like, am, I, am I wrong in that? It's like, it's almost one of those things like they have it or they don't. And you can kind of pick up on that right away. That's just from my point. Yeah, yeah. I think I think at first glance, I mean, just when you when you first walk up to a woman, uh, it's easy to see how they how they reside inside, and I think just by the way that they carry themselves, the way that they talk, mm -hmm. the way that they articulate, are they are they able to, to lead the conversation or are they following and just responding? Um, you can get a really good feel for people um, by by how they by how they communicate. Mm -hmm. I think women have a very strong presence. Mm -hmm. Women are already strong human beings. Okay. Yeah, but, so, like, wait, 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 but, but more specifically, like, what's specific about that? You're saying, oh, they have a presence. For me, is if a woman's smiling. Right. Yeah. And, like that, that whole RBF thing, then. Ooh. Right. <laughs> that, that, that immediately, I don't think you're confident. Really? Yeah, immediately. Like, there's, yes. no, there, there's no possibility, I think, that you're confident when you have a scowl on your face and you're out in public. Like if you're not enjoying, because smiling is actually a reflection of like how happy you are doing what you're doing. That, that doesn't matter if you're a man or you're a woman. Right. So the, 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 again, when especially, it, it, we've all been there. Right. Boys, we, we've been there. Definitely. Awesome. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm good. Mm -hmm. See you later. You ain't confident. Right. Yeah, so that's what I was going to like communication. Um, communication, if I, if I walk up to a woman, she's like, hi. Like, mm -hmm. like communication matters too, like communication, uh, definitely, like, if I say, hey, how are you doing, and you're like, hey, I'm having a great day, how, how about you, like, yeah. that's confidence, like, right. like, I could, she could be married or whatever, mm -hmm. 
like just but I'm confident of being a woman I can I can stand my ground. Like, right. That that's true. decent. Yeah. Like that that turns me on. Like, Ooh, okay. Like, or or the, the the other one that I I, I I notice is like if I look a woman when I'm talking to you, mm -hmm. if I'm looking you in your eyes and you're not shifting down or this, if you're like if we're having a conversation, you don't take your eyes off, I know they're confident. Yeah. And, but I think that goes back to just like a person thing. Yeah, so even even yeah, just like even nonverbal communication. Yeah. And that is um yeah, definitely and um and like a, a parents too. Mm -hmm. Right. Like even like even grocery shopping and if you like, hey, like I'm I'm gonna make sure I'm, I'm coming out confident, even if they're grocery shopping. Yeah. yeah. Like some of it, like sometimes grocery shopping, I'm just like, wow, like this You pick you're picking up women in grocery stores. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so this this is a confidence that I'm going to the grocery store and like I'm comfortable with being the way that I am at the grocery store. Yeah. Like that's that's confidence in me. Yeah. But I also think confidence too is natural. And I think um, aside from like because you can look really good natural. So like if a woman walks to the store and you see someone with sweatpants on and and they're they're confident, that looks differently than if they were uh, insecure yes. and uh, in, in, yes. in best dressed. Yeah. So for me, like I also look at it too from the perspective you guys are talking about, like a woman that's confident to me is like when I walk up and speak to them. Um, I don't feel that they have an ego mm -hmm. and that they think that the guy has bad intentions. You can feel that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And most strong women that don't have egos, they're confident that even if somebody does have a wrong intention, they're in control. Mm -hmm. You can feel that's, that. That's, that's, just, that's, that's actually a, a real good point. That's, yeah. that's, a, that's the thing, like, I, and again, like when I talk to you, it's like you feel that confidence. It's not like, hey, like I'm, I'm just waiting. It's like, boom, I'm direct, I'm bold. Um, and for me, like I'll, I'll point it out, like I'll, I'll point it out to a woman, like in, in a heartbeat, because you know I was raised with a single parent. So for me, like my mom really uh, led from the front when it came to being confident. Mm. So I know what it looks like to have a strong, independent woman. That's good. And so for me, like I say, <clears throat> I'm the first one to call it out, like celebrate women. Like if someone's being confident, I'm like, hey, I love your confidence. And women are thrown off. They're, they're expecting like, hey, you know, yo, what's your number, ma? Like, right? You know, we're not. Stay we're not wait, 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 wait. That doesn't yeah. work. No. It, 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 it used to in, on the on the on the movies. Oh, in the, in the, the, the back in the day. My face, but like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta check my. <laughs> but see, like, it, but, but we're in the 20th century, yeah. and and like, you know, people are exuding professional out in public, but they can't be professional in private too. Mm -hmm. And so when you have an immature balance, like that's, you know, professional only when I'm in front of people, but I'm different behind the scenes, that also stands out when you meet with someone. Um, like mm -hmm. who you are, like now is who you are when no one's watching. Definitely. Right. And, and that's, for me, that's, that's confidence. That's confidence at its finest. Like um, seeing people in two different settings and, and it'll change. Well, I, th I think too, like going back to confidence is, is especially for women. And again, this is kind of going more often to like the masculine versus feminine mm -hmm. argument, but I feel like the the women that I'm really attracted to are, are women that are really confident in their feminine energy. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like very, you know, just, just very, uh, they care about their appearance, regardless if you're like you're in sweatpants or whatever, yeah. but they care, they care about the way that they carry themselves. Right. They care about the way that they look, they care about the way that they talk to people and stuff mm -hmm. like that, right? And, and like, I think there's such a debate right now because there's such a push, especially, you know, just from in the political, like you said, the political right. atmosphere right. for, mm -hmm. for uh, you know, the whole feminine movement. And it's right. like, but you're not real feminist. You're mm -hmm. actually teaching women, in my opinion, um, they're, they're teaching women to be more masculine, which is not like, I feel like that actually, going back to the scowl thing, that's a very, masculine thing yeah, like yeah, guys yeah. are supposed I to be the rough and gruff ones so you know what i mean I so it's like you know but feminine is like really just about opening up bonding connecting Absolutely. and stuff like that and I, I especially being a single dude in 2021 it's not easy especially in covid but i also see that trend kind of like shifting over a little bit where you're like no just 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 be you be a girl right. like right. be able to let loose have fun right. you know and i feel like that's sort of going by the wayside right. but but i think it's up it's up to like it's up to a man also to feed a woman also in, in, in confidence. Um, because I think a lot of times uh, the perception that men have to women is because of what has been fed to them for 
a long time with either past relationships. Yeah. So a lot of times in interactions with people, you feel that too. Yeah. And so I'm first to call it out. Listen, like, listen, I'm like, I'm just saying hello, like, how you doing? Mm -hmm. Like, right. this is not, this is not like I'm not trying to, you know, get your phone number. Yeah. And so I'll, I'll call it out and say, listen, like, I'm just, I'm just getting to know you. Like, don't, 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 don't mistake that for like. Your, your ego, you know, right. so, I don't say it's a woman, but like just the, in my mind, that's what I'm thinking. Like I'm, I have good intentions by just saying hello to you. Well, but, that, but that's also rare too, yeah. because like genuine good men is very rare now. Yeah. So like even me just try, oh, you, look, look at you. No, <laughs> <laughs> let me, no, let me, if I can interrupt, it's just crazy because I, I was having this conversation with my friend okay. and we got into that topic of you know, the good men are hard to find type of thing because she was, she was, no, I know who this person is, but she, she said a man like reached out to her mm -hmm. and made, you know, wanted to take her out, but made a comment about her body because he liked how her body looked. And she's okay. like tired of like men approaching because 90, 95% of the time men approach her that way. You sexy. I like your body. Ba ba ba. And she's like, they don't even have a conversation with me. They don't even try to da 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 da. They just run right. But, but, but is that a problem? Well, like yes. to his, but to his point, like, shouldn't that boost the woman's confidence? And maybe this is a separate conversation. But it's like, I, I but they're, they're, but hold on, time out. I, I understand what you're saying. There's a way to do it that's not creepy. Confident, confidence when a, when a, when a man is giving confidence to a woman. Yeah. And, 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 Edifying her, there's a difference between edifying yeah. and and demeaning. Yeah. And and what I what I say by demeaning is most women are expecting to hear, oh, you look good, your body, you're this. Not like, hey, you have an amazing smile. Yeah. See, because that's, like, that's what I mean. It's so, complimenting yeah. in a genuine it, way. It's, it's, that's it's, not it's the things that you're complimenting. Yes. Like a right. body, the compliment someone's body that shows that it's surface level. Right. If I say, hey, you have a smile, like there's something behind that smile. Now it's like, hey, like why why do you smile so much? Why do you smile so nice? Right. Like life must be really good for you. Then you start we want so, but again, that's the confidence versus yeah. like, hey, you have a body, you have a great body. Now a woman's like turned off. It's like, hey, that switch turns off and they're not unwilling to continue that conversation because yeah. they think it's yeah. just about yeah. one thing. That that that's good with a, a man man's mindset though. That's what that work. So, so, it, it doesn't have to do with like woman's confidence. Because woman's woman's confidence is like uh, one time I had walked by a, a, a bar and there was two women sitting outside and I was like, I was like, either you're a social worker or a lawyer. And it was like, wow. She was like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lawyer and I'm a social worker. And it was like, wow. I'm like, that's the confidence, mm -hmm. right? Um, right? Your parents, your demeanor. Mm -hmm. Well, right? I, I, I think too, it's, it, you're, you, you kind of hit it. And like, you're just, you're, you're genuinely just putting good intentions mm -hmm. out there and not expecting anything back. Yep. You know, and I think that's, you know, again, I, I don't know how deep, I uh, know we're talking about confidence, right. but I'm assuming when right. you're talking about uh, what men see in, in women as far Absolutely. as confidence go, you're probably right. talking about dating romantically, so it's like, you might as well go down this rabbit hole. Sure. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Yeah. But, but here's the thing, let me just take it a step yeah, further. Right. So, huh? I said, go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is my show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so, I was going to say, so going back to the how men normally approach women, not all men, but most men, is obviously that's the first thing you see yeah. is the appearance. So yeah. you know you assess, okay, how the female looks, blah blah blah, right? Yeah. But so from a woman's perspective, and I've had to be honest, I have more men compliment me on like my smile or my eyes. Or, okay. So a lot of men come to respect me. What? I'm, I'm itching to answer this. I know where you're going. Oh, okay. So keep going. So. <laughs> As far as the RBF and the response to women, do you feel that it's because it's not normalized? So because men approach the women and be like, oh, your body look good, da da da, and they hear it over and over, now it's in their, their mental, that's in their sight. So then when a man comes to them the opposite way, they not think there's something wrong with them because they're not coming to them the way that they used to. So if a guy's like, you have a really nice smile, you, you know, I like your hair, whatever. It's in genuine. And, and that's genuine, but yeah. because 99% of the time they used to the man be like, oh, you look good, man, you sexy, you blah, 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 that's normal to them. That's their reality versus the other thing. You get what I'm saying? I gotta switch up my game. Uh, you get it? That, 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 goes, that, that goes back to like the um, Aisha Curry, right? 
Yeah. Oh, that like, comment? Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, like, like men, men are attracted to her, but that's that, that's the respect factor that yeah. men like, okay, you're like, you're taken away. Right. And we, <laughs> we, 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 like, we, we respect like the boundaries. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and, and sometimes men, genuine men, do that. We, we respect the boundaries. Like, if you have a ring game finger, I'm not approaching you. I'm not. I'm not making compliments, but if yeah. there's no, no ring, I, I might say something. But 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 it, like again, uh, you, we, we I, I'm sure right when I say what I'm about to say, we're all gonna agree. Men have to take res- like responsibility for that too. Yeah. Because I have talked to more men that want to know. It's like, well, how does a girl know I'm interested in her? Mm. Mm. Okay. The fact that I'm talking to you. I'm dead serious. Like the fact that in a random place, in a bar, wherever, wherever you meet people, and I don't know you from, I've never had a conversation with you or anything. I just come up and gen- I don't even have to compliment you. Hi, how are you? Immediately, there's, it doesn't mean it has to be romantic interest or anything, but there's a level of interest there that made me come up and talk to you. Yeah. It's like, just treat somebody normal. You don't have to go up and even, you don't even have to approach with, to, oh, you have the nicest smile I've ever seen or whatever. Like, you don't have to, hi, how are you? Like, just make a, com- a comment, have a conversation. Well, women, you know, have, women have word tracks, though, and, and everyone else does too, but, but women, they hear word tracks and they interpret it in, in, a, in a different way. So, like, let me give you an example. So, if someone said, um, walked up to a woman and said, hey, you know, you're, you're XYZ, you know, yeah. in their mind, you know, they would say, is he, how do I know he's interested in me? What that is code for is how do I know he's interested in more than just what I look like? Mm-hmm. Keep so, so, so that's, so that's what I'm, right. Yeah, exactly. But, but what I'm saying is that, yeah. but, but most men mm-hmm. will stop when the roadblock hits and that's why women feel the way they do about Oh, men. I, I see what you're saying. Like, for me, if, if, yeah. like, when I hit a roadblock, like, yeah. I would keep going. Yeah, yeah. But most, right. most, most shallow men will walk away and say, oh, because they're only looking yeah, for one yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so in a woman's mind, they see that walk away with no attempt to like to push through. Yeah. Because listen, a confident woman ain't gonna let you just just go right around oh, the corner. Yeah, they're gonna force you to yeah, work. Yeah. And like so, that's that's how I know a, a woman is really confident. Depending on the conversation I'm having with them, like yeah. Um, it, it ain't easy. It's not like like if I'm saying like, hey, you know, you can tell like they're suspicious, but I just it's just like you keep going. And I think that's why women have the preconceived notion of men because most times they walk away when it, that point gets gets too tough, where they don't feel like it's easy. Well, and, um, at, the, at the end of the day too, like you're saying, a confident woman actually goes into that suspicion a little mm-hmm. bit, doesn't just like put up the wall. She's right. like, what do you mean by that? Mm-hmm. You know, that, yeah. like th- those are for me, those are the, the, fight, like, the, the most fun conversations mm-hmm. that you have with, especially women. Right. To me, if I, if I don't see confidence, I'm not, I'm not approaching you. Nah, right now. Nah. Right? Like, mm-hmm. yeah. I, that, that's, you get to a certain stages, like, if, if I'm not, if I'm not seeing any confidence, I'm not even saying hi or <laughs> how, how are you doing, right? I'm, I'm just <laughs> like, I'll look and just keep it moving. Yeah. But I, that's so, like, when I, when you see confidence, like, you, you know it. Mm-hmm. Like, you can feel it too. Yeah, it's, it's like an energy. It's yeah, it is. it's like an energy. Like it's pulling, yeah. it's pulling yeah. it's like the yeah. like the analogy is here. Like it's like okay, the, the algorithm is to say like okay, like she looked at me. She looked back. Yeah. Right. She looked like she carried. He's already back. got the smile. Like, look at him. He's practicing. He's practicing. He even squinted his eyes a little bit. Like he's, he's like, all right. He sent a he sent a drink or <laughs> I'm saying like something. I and, get it. And you. And then the response he gets you, right? Like, yeah. She's a confident woman. Dude, this dude is smooth as hell. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, <it's> smooth as <laughs> hell. You see the bar with him at Like you said, appearance says a lot too. You know, if I'm, if yes. I, if I'm going somewhere, and again, it all depends on where you meet people. Yeah, you know, it's right. like if you're going to you know, a, a bar or a club, the yeah, expectation yeah. is uh, people are going to be dressed a certain way, A, because they're probably seeking some type of attention. Oh, yeah. But, but the ones that aren't seeking that, you can feel too. So like a woman that is, um, that is, you know, tastefully dressed mm-hmm. versus looking how tasteful, like, like they're, like they're really craving attention. Like, you know, they're wearing like a really, really low cut shirt. Like, uh, I mean, should, like just, they, yeah, they look yeah, like, yeah. they look, they look like they're looking for like something 
temporary. Yeah. Like that's easy to see. And so like if a woman is like, you know, tastefully dressed, like they, you know, it's, they, they're not like wearing like a, a wool shirt and, you know, yeah. call, but like they, they're, they're tastefully dressed. Yeah. Like that's confident versus someone who's literally like needing to, to feel like they have to like throw everything out there. Save me. Yeah. No, literally. Yeah. yeah, and, like, yeah. Like, but you can see that from a mile away. Seriously. Well, right. I, I think I think that that's the thing too. It's like if you take care of yourself, you take care of your appearance. Mm -hmm. Like, and if if you want to show that off, that's one thing. But there's a way to do it. Right. In which it's like it's like all right, I know I'm confident. I don't need to show you everything right. for me to feel confident. Right. Does that make sense? I feel like we yeah. answered all the questions. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's what you're doing. <laughs> 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 So yeah. one, sorry, one question that's not on here. Okay, so do you think it's possible for a woman to be introverted but have confidence? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Definitely. Yeah. Hundred percent. I, I agree. And actually, I do better with introverted women because I'm so extroverted. Right. So I need somebody to be like, no, 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 we're, we're we're staying in tonight, or else I'll keep going out. Or I'm someone who's both. Like I'm both. Believe it or not. That's okay. <laughs> 51, 49, yeah. whatever. Yeah. People don't, people don't believe that I'm an ambivert. This is the first time. People don't believe that. That I'm. Yeah, no, that was a word. It is. No, I, think, I think a lot of your, a lot of your <laughs> outward expression, like your energy, is also, not, not a, don't, don't take this wrong, but it's, not, it's like a cover up because part of you is an introvert and you're not necessarily always that comfortable. That right. like, you kind of go above and beyond sometimes, like you're, is, is really. The reverse effect too like because you're an introvert that's why you're it's like not think it's you make it but it's like that like okay i'm gonna really just get out of my comfort zone and like be yeah. a little extra which is yeah. naturally who you are right not in a bad way but like you just have amazing I energy just like, what you say? no i just have yeah. you but you have amazing energy but i think it's also because you're an introvert i think that's why sometimes that switch uh goes on the way that it does right. because you're, that, that's because excellent self-awareness yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's excellent, excellent yeah. self-awareness so I am shy. <laughs> you don't believe when I say that. So what, what I've learned from people who are both, um, like women who are both, they ask a lot of questions. Right. Right. When yeah. we look at extroverts, they just like, they just know what they know, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. But women who are both, like they ask a lot of questions. They want yeah. to know, like, did that upset you? Or how do you feel? Or are you, mm -hmm. are you comfortable? Right. Like, and you appreciate that, right? Yeah. So that, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. 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 It's almost, it's almost like the woman opens you up yeah. like as much as you're trying to open the woman up to because again like if you're genuinely interested in somebody especially as a dude you want to know about that person right, right? like you want to talk like you want, you want to know what she's about what she likes you know what her background is all that stuff but like you also like I, I like I like to talk like I like to share my story you know it's like you know seeing that kind of mutual interest where all of a sudden she's asking questions she's interested yeah, you yeah. know like that that's that, that it, it's just it's a good mutual balance. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm I'm definitely not introverted though. So I, I don't know yeah, what that I'm means. Not, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I don't, I don't, I'm not an introvert or whatever. <laughs> it's definitely not me. Yeah. So did that answer your question? Yeah, that was good. <laughs> that was great. Okay. So all right, I'm gonna ask this question. You you kind of touched on it a little bit, but the question is: Do you view confidence as a woman that is? Um, Oh, do you view confidence as a woman that is physically put together or by the way that she acts? So both. You kind of, yeah. Both. Yeah. yeah, it's both. Yeah. It's absolutely both. So, when you, so we talked about the physical, we kind of talked about like the way a woman acts. So the personality. Yeah. Men, men, we talk about this all the time between each other, right? Like that conversation always comes up like, I can't stand her personality, right? Oh my God. Or There's like, not the worst. There's not the worst. I'm serious. Yeah. It's like, and, 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 and there's such a difference between a healthy, emotionally healthy woman and emotionally unhealthy woman. Mm -hmm. Because one is very stable and one is very unstable. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, I've dated both. And I'll tell you, this over here, this healthy, is just a way smoother ride. Mm -hmm. It is a way smoother ride. And it's very... Um, and especially just the way my life is set up and, you know, you're, you're in finance services, you're, you know, entrepreneur, you're doing all your thing. We're all busy. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's very clear, especially when I, like I started dating somebody, if they're emotionally unhealthy or not, because I'm, 
I'm the, I gotta get better myself, but I have to learn to kind of re, do better at like reaching out and stuff. And I'm busy, you know, like I'm busy. I, I, I work from 6.30 in the morning to 10 o'clock at night, mm -hmm. religiously. And if I have time, like I'll reach out to call you and stuff like that. But it's very, the way my life's uh, set up, I can spot an emotionally unhealthy woman very, very quickly. So give us a, a couple of examples. What, is, what does that look like? Um, it, it's a vibe, right? It's a vibe, like neediness is a vibe. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a difference between checking up and genuinely want to see how my day is going versus needing to know how my day is going. You know, and if you, you guys know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's, it was like it's, it, every every guy has been here. Right. With that, there, there, there's a difference in, in the language from why haven't you texted me or you must be busy today because I haven't really spoke to you. Right? Dude, you, I, I seriously, that you just said perfectly <laughs> because it's like if all of a sudden like you call me and I'm like, hey, I'm you know, I'm like I'm I'm on a meeting, I'm busy, whatever, and I can't call you back till the next day because I get home at ten thirty. Or whatever, eleven o'clock, and I'm I literally hit my bed or my couch sometimes. I'm just like I'm falling asleep. Yeah. There's a huge difference between an emotionally healthy woman who you call the next day, she picks up, she's like, Oh, I was wondering what I was gonna hear from you compared to why didn't you call me back? Right. It's right. like excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, okay. Uh, okay, mom. No, I'm you are not if you wanted to say something. No, I'm just I'm just agreeing. He's with being you. very <laughs> careful with the company that we're in. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm open. <laughs> I'm a lot of the lady in the background, y'all. Right. So, I mean, for he's me, like, no. I, I'm, no, I, I think he's like, whatever I have is perfect. Whatever no, I, I have is perfect. Good answer. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to the, you know, I'm yeah. get to the, the real stuff here. So, so let me, so like, let me kind of paint a different picture from like what these two are talking about, and but also is echoes what they're saying. So having a needy person who is like always needing something is because they're not getting something. So and, and so a needy woman isn't necessarily a bad woman. It's saying, okay, what is also the man not giving her that's not fulfilling her to not be so needy? Like are you are you Wait, can you can you just repeat that again for the people? I, I, I'll paint another picture because maybe, maybe that kind of went over some. No, that was my so, no, that, I bought it, but so, I just need. Yeah. Yeah. So, so listen, like when 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 someone says a woman's needy, there there are versions of needy. Mm -hmm. There's there's needy and like because they they have no backbone, mm -hmm. or needy because the situation that they're in is not giving them what they need, and they feel like they need more from that person. Mm -hmm. Not 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 personally, they need more from that relationship. So I think it's it's a it's a it's a two headed monster. Like the the individual that is needy, that's that's a different category than the individual in a relationship that is needy right. because the relationship right. isn't feeding them. So, yeah. so a man, so, um, kind of one of the points I was waiting to, to get to. So, um, women are the strongest in my mind, some of the strongest human beings in the world. Mm -hmm. There's two things that make them weak. Comparison mm -hmm. and men. But this is real. This is, this yeah, is real yeah, stuff. Yeah, we're, we're talking real. Like two things make women weak. It's comparison, which you know men can't really control because that's they're doing that themselves. You're looking at social media saying, "Hey, why don't I have this? This person has this." But then men also have responsibility in that too. Where um, a lot of men, unfortunately, we live in a world where a lot of men are controlling, but not in control. Mm. And there's a difference. Controlling is being in a relationship or being involved with a woman and needing to always give direction. They only have one way to go, which is your way. I've always looked at it like being in a relationship is really important to have someone else be in control also. You're both in control, meaning like there's there's choices and you make a decision. Um, and I feel like a lot of times we, we get to a point where women are needy and you know in, in our minds and women are desperate or women don't have a backbone. It's because we're not feeding women with what they need to feel like they're in control. They don't they don't feel like they have control in a relationship because they're being controlled by someone else. Um, and I think we have a responsibility on our end to 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 encourage and and, and lift up women to say, hey, listen, you're in control in this relationship. It's not it's not a one headed uh, direction here. I'm not in control in this relationship. Like in my relationship, um, we're both in control. There's times where I need to be in control, 
and there's times where she needs to be in control. Okay. Um, yes. But but I'm okay if she's in control. I don't take that as like I'm less than. Right. And I think a lot of times when you deal with needy people, there's always something below that. Is it needy because the relationship is not feeding them? That's that's the man needs to look in the mirror. If it's a, a, a needy woman that is just you know independent on her own and she doesn't have a backbone because she's been hurt by a bunch of different people, mm-hmm. like that's a different that's a different category. But yeah. I'm talking specifically from the relationship perspective. Um, I think men have a really big uh, responsibility to um, to to find that that balance. Um, well, let me ask, like, is that, are you talking in general? Because, like, for me, like, when you say that, you know, both are in control of a relationship, I personally, in terms of the relationship, mm-hmm. I don't want any control. Right. Like, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't do well with that. Mm-hmm. And that's just me personally. Like, I, I'm very good at controlling my own emotions. Mm-hmm. And, and, yeah, I, I work on this every single day. Right. I try to control my emotions, how I deal with things in my, my career, you know, I basically control the food I put into my body, I control how much I work out, I, I control the things that I want to control, therefore I kind of control my world as much as I can, right. when it comes to a relationship, I don't want no control. But control control doesn't mean like, I, you know, like you're, you're the author, your authority, I'm saying being on the same level where a woman uh, feels that um, they have the authority in the relationship, meaning like, it's, for instance, like the way I'm, the way I'm, I'm articulating this is in control means um, I don't need my significant other. Okay. That's this, this independence that's like, hey, like I don't want a woman to be dependent on me in a relationship. So you better believe I'm gonna feed her enough confidence and, and encouragement and to say, hey, I don't yeah. I don't want you to be dependent okay. on me because, I, I because, that's, because that's because that's an unhealthy relationship. Yeah, 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 yeah. A woman that's dependent on someone. Like that's a that's a recipe for disaster, yeah. and that's where it comes to the controlling piece. Where if a woman is dependent on a man, oh, forget it, or vice versa, it's yeah. because they're in a controlling relationship, yeah. not because they have two people that are really yeah. in control. Is he talking more? Is that, is that, is that, yeah, no, I, I yeah. misunderstood what you were saying. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Share, like, share responsibility. Yeah, hundred percent. Like we're both in control. Like yeah. if I say, hey, we're doing something, I'm like, hey, we're not doing that. Like that's the part where I'm in control in that moment. But like if I need to be called out and held accountable. Like my woman should be able to feel like she can do that and not feel like she's like unable to to tell me and hold me accountable or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, a, a, good, a good analogy for that is I wear the pants, she wears the overalls. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I, like I, I'm in control of what I can be in, in control of, but like at the end of the day, when it comes to a relationship, you're the one that's really holding it down right. because like you got you got to snap me back to reality. Mm-hmm. Just like I'm gonna put you in check and snap you back to reality. We all need it too. They they want to this is that. It's it's so funny because. Everyone needs an accountability partner, right? Absolutely. And how many times do you look at relationships and you see people seeking accountability outside, outside. of the relationship? Which is crazy. Yeah, like, think about, Which is crazy, right? think, about, think, about, think about how crazy it is. Like, yeah. when, when in reality, the person that should be holding you most accountable is the person that you're ignoring in the relationship. And so you end up having an accountability partner that's outside of, because here's the thing, with accountability, the great thing about it and the bad thing about it is you're in complete control. If you have no accountability partner and you're reporting to yourself, yeah. talking to yourself, holding yourself accountable, no matter how driven, how you know, amazing you are, how superstar you are, at some point, if you continue telling yourself what to do, you can easily turn that off. You got to slip. You got to slip. But, bro, but bro. if you have somebody else oh, yeah. that's in your relationship that is holding you accountable, like you, it's going to be really, really difficult for you to stop. When when something gets hard, because you're 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 looking at someone else that's bigger than you, yeah. And I think that's why a lot of men. It, it's not a matter of like a confident woman or a confident man. I think it has more to do with are you ready for a relationship or are you not? Because if you're not ready for a relationship, but you get into one, that's a bad recipe. I agree. If you have two people who are ready for a relationship and they can get into a relationship and have the same common ground, like that's a great recipe for like success. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of times you have mismatches. Someone, someone says they're ready for a relationship, but then they get into one, and then their past comes up, and they're not really ready. Yeah. They haven't really moved past it. So, like, how does that work? And you end up getting into arguments or saying, "Hey, I'm now I'm controlling you because like you're being too needy." No, it's not that she's needy. It's just that there's something below the surface that you just yeah. don't know yet because she doesn't trust you. Right, right, right. 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 And let me just so. kind of tie everything together what y'all were saying, and then you brought the point up that a woman's weakness is the comparison to men. Okay. So is it fair to say comparison to weak men? 
No, no, no. Uh, no, no. I, th I think it's. I think when I say men, I mean it's the way that men treat women. Okay. I don't. Th I don't think. I think. I think the majority of women have, in some capacity, been treated badly Absolutely. by men, yeah. and so their their natural their first response mm -hmm. is to think all men are bad. Yeah. So we have. So our, us good guys have to work really, really hard mm -hmm. to combat that. Yeah. So when I say yo know, men, men can tear women down. Ah. I've seen it happen, so and, it, it, and it kills me because again, I was raised with a single parent. Like yeah. my mother, if, if somebody ever treated my mother wrong, like they, they'd be in, in for some really bad consequences. So like I look at treating women much differently than probably someone else who um, who doesn't have the same perspective. But it's just you see men just like tear women down, like call them out of their name, um, and it's just like that's that's what I think affects women. More than comparison, to be honest, like they get in bad relationships and end up settling because they think that's what they deserve. Yeah. Right? No, they, they just haven't had anything different. Absolutely. Don't judge us by our worst species. You know. It's, yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> so. But again, the, the thing that men have to do is we're comparing ourselves too. Yeah. Against right. other men who are who are who are in simple terms scumbags. Yeah. That's why. Right. That's why I'm comparing my yeah. competing with. Right. Yeah. But I'm, it's not a competition because I know that the cream always rises to the top, and like at some point I'll be able to show that. But it's just um, I don't know if that answers your question, but it, but it, I think it's a lot well, deeper than just like. But but okay. no, that, no, the the, the <laughs> beginning. I'm sorry, no, the beginning. But what I was gonna say is to that point is for women, and I'm gonna just speak, but I really believe that women are gonna stay in my corner. Is all of that ties into reassurance because we as women. We're constantly, we go on the media, small ways, big hips, body, money, bundle, bop, bop, right? Right? <laughs> okay, clap for that. Whatever, right? That's but what's up. We say comparison is everywhere. It's we go on the yeah, media, we have the job, we go to, we're here with it. There's all, we go walk into a room full of women, and in our minds, we're like, Oh, sis is bad. Sis got this. Look at the rock. Look at the bop. We're constantly. Oh, her hair is pretty and whatever. Or she's light skinned. She's dark skinned. Bop up. It's we're that is our world constantly. So women pick themselves apart, and I and I did a video about that. Comparison kills because we literally kill our soul because we're constantly comparing ourselves to the next female or whatever. So that we're that's our daily life as a woman. Yeah. And hold on, wait a minute, I ain't finished. Hold up. <laughs> so, so, and especially, let's take it a step further. If a woman who was in a relationship with a man and they broke up and then that man elevate, because you know they said, oh, you got to elevate from your ex, you got to go higher. And then they see a woman, with a, a woman and her ex with a woman who potentially is better than her, look better, more successful, whatever. Then you got that that is like ripping her apart. So it's that. So when I say from a man, it's reassuring. I feel like I'm getting loud. But when I say a man constantly needs to reassure her, and not saying so to the point where she's insecure and she needs that, but you have to do it enough to make her understand this position right here is yours. Period. You know what I'm saying? Comparison gives women a false sense of security. And what I mean by that is, like, when you look at comparison, what really is comparison? Because most women are like, okay, I'm out on, on social media. I'm looking at this person versus me. But if you didn't have the exact same starting point, it's not a comparison. It's like comparing Michael Jordan to LeBron James. They, it's it's too hard. It's not yeah, yeah. It's not apples to apples. So the comparison is like literally a false sense of security that women are giving themselves to validate them. When in reality, if you really looked at it and you said, for a woman, if you if you looked at the picture and said, um, everything that I have, some other woman wants. If you knew that without a shadow of a doubt, I bet you a hundred percent of women would act differently. Because a lot of times they think that what they don't what they don't have is what they need. When in reality, the other way around too. Another woman might be looking at you and be like, "Man, she has X, Y, Z. Like, I, I want that." But I most women are like so busy comparing themselves that they don't even value what they have. That's an asset. But I also, I also don't think that's a uniquely female experience. Like guys, 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 guys compare a, themselves to other guys. Hundred percent. You know? it, that, that's a. 100%. It's a universal thing. Yeah. We're talking about women, so I'm just related yeah. to, to the to I get women. It. Yeah. And, and I'll, I'll, I'll get the. Some, somebody gave me a piece of advice. I, I, you know, again, I probably go into specifically women, but all people. Instead of comparing yourself to others, compare yourself to who you were yesterday. 
And that's, that's that that's that's most men. Like I, I do that all the time. Like when I post a new picture, yeah, I feel like I, I don't want to just look better than I did before. Yeah, I want to feel like I'm in a better position than I was before. And feel better, right? Yeah, just feel better than you did yesterday. You know, but I mean, see, for us, it's it's like it's less about the look, and it's more about what what the look provides. Like for me, like I'm worried about taking care of my family. I don't necessarily have to have the best dress, like. But I'm saying like, if, but you're I, definitely the best dress here. Right. Listen, no, it, it depends on where we're going. About best if, dress. if we're going to a certain place, like we all look good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you go into a cookout, you look, you look. You right. said I look good. <laughs> 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 if, if, if we go to a professional dinner, like lunch, like with, a, you. You know, with the exec, like. You know, I'm, I'm dressed for the occasion. Yeah, I guess. like you would dress differently if you go into a different place. Yeah, right. Got Same with you. Like you look if you're going casual day out. Like you look. Dude, if you he got the pants like on, he's fresh. Okay, fresh. Right. 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 If you go to Eddie Harvey, you might end up in that store one day. He's doing the Michael Jackson moonwalk trying to get back. In. No, but I, I just but, think yeah. there, there's so much. Um, there's so many universal things. Um, in, in these conversations about confidence in women, but I think where we sit at is uh, the confidence that we see in women, where we think it comes from, but also how we're giving women confidence. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's that's really the seat that we sit in. Yeah. Because a lot of time, a lot of things we don't know. I mean, we we, we control the controllables. Yeah, how we treat women, how we yeah. how we validate them when we're in a relationship. How we show up. Because like just like you, right. like, I'm I'm. I'm busy just like you are, mm -hmm. we, you know, and in, in my relationship, the way I look at it is like in that's okay to be busy, but the times that I'm not busy, I need to make sure that yeah. that she knows that it's top of mind. Yeah. So like first thing in the morning, text, it may be a little thing, but it's the first thing I do before I get my day started. And now no matter how busy the day is, that's what the first thing that happens. You're building that equity. Equity. It's, it's sweat equity. It's it's yeah. work. It, it's work. Like confidence in women is work. It's 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 work to um to 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 raise up um and, and elevate a uh, woman. Like why would you want to be in a relationship with a weak woman? Like for me, I'm always looking at ways. Like I don't want no and I don't want no dependent woman. Like, listen, like it ain't gonna work because I want a woman that like doesn't need me. Like that's 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 attractive. That's yeah. like amazing. You you, 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 have, you you want her to want you, not need you. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that, a big, that's, that's a big difference. Can she go that, get on her own? Absolutely. Yeah. Ooh, that, I love that. That's, that's, one, that's, that's one of my challenges is overconfident women. Right. 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 Um, say like I'm I'm they're like I'm I'm super independent. Like I don't need a man. I don't need you. Right. No man wants to hear that. Right. Well, well, right. I, I don't. I don't. Show me that you don't need me. You don't have to tell me. Right. 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 Tell me. Oh, I don't need you. I don't need you for this. I don't need you for that. Instead of saying like, if, if you saying this to me, that means you need something. Hundred percent. Right. right. It's, like, it's like more. It's, no, literally, I, I agree. Like, yeah. I don't need you. I don't need you. But the reality is a cover up for the insecurity. Hundred yeah. percent. Or, 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 or. By the way, ladies, <laughs> don't, don't. This is just a tip. <laughs> if, if, you, if you're talking to a dude, don't say stuff like "I'm just gonna be alone forever." That's a turn off. You know, that's just, like, Seriously. you know, it's right. like, it's like, just, it's like little things. Like, I don't need you, like, you know, like, I'm just going to be alone forever. No one will ever love me. It's like, all right, well, you know, you're, that's not very confident. Right. Like, you know, your words matter too. <laughs> so, it's a way to get somebody to walk out of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to sprint? Okay. Say Hold that. on, Keisha got something to say. No, I'm going to tell my business mm. because. Oh, no. Yes, now this key comes. See? <laughs> all we have to do is. The Tazo's coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. I'm growing in that area now of like the independence. Cause recently, a whole bunch of my friends and my mama was like, "You too independent," and I was like, "What you mean? They like that?" Like, what? And she was like, "So I began to just really like kind of dig deep mm. in that area." But what I was going to say is my most recent ex, which is years ago, he, there was a conversation, he was a truck driver, so we, I would call him on my break, and he'll be on the road, and he was like, at a stop, and he was looking at stuff on his phone, so he sent me a purse, 
and he was like, do you like this person? I was like, oh, yeah, it's cute. And he was like, I'm thinking about getting it for my mom for a birthday or something. I don't remember exactly what he said. And I was like, yeah, she'll like that. So we kept talking, and then he came out and was like, well, I was getting the purse for, for you. And I was like, oh, you don't got to do that. And he was like, <laughs> Not knowing, okay, yeah, this, you can buy your own bag, right? You didn't have, and I'll take responsibility for that because it shattered his ego. And then I wonder why I go forward, he didn't want to do that thing. Because I'm like, oh, he said it was your fault. You know what I mean? Because, which is true, like, I, I didn't need him to buy a bag, but I also didn't want to seem like I wanted something out of you. You know what I'm saying? Because at that stage, I just wanted to like get to know you and grow and whatever, right? Well, why does it seem that way to you? Why? So, so if someone doesn't tell you something, but you're you don't want it to seem that way. Why do you feel like it seems that way? If someone just wants to take care of you, why is that like something that's like? Because I don't. I'm not used to that. Right. So that was my thing. So because I take care of Keisha. I have a hard time with, if that came, and he wasn't like that, or maybe he was trying to, but if that came in my life, at the time, this was years ago, I've definitely grown, mm -hmm. but I didn't understand that at the time because I've never experienced that. The only man that took care of me was my dad. Right. Mm -hmm. And even now, 31 years old, if I wanted to, I'd be like, daddy, can I follow? Whatever, and he would give it to me because he showed me what a man, you know what I'm saying? Like my my dad gets the husband of the all the years because he has I know what a provider looks like. Financially, you know, emotionally, I haven't really seen my parents like like that, like that, but my dad would bend over backwards for his family, his children. Yeah. So I see that and then anything that came after that, I'm like, well, that doesn't look like what I what I know. So from there, I'm be honest, I had to grow. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not, I'm not dating my daddy. You right. know what I mean? So because I've never seen that, I always felt like I had to be like, well, I can get my own stuff. I don't, I don't really need you for that. But you will date, you will date who your dad was to you. Yes. The, right. I don't want to date my dad exactly, yeah. but, but the way those characteristics, you, absolutely, you because I know what an example of a good father you know what I'm saying? He always showed up for his kids. He takes care of my, my mom, his wife. So I have that example. So anything outside of that, I'm like, ugh, it was hard for me. Mm -hmm. You know, but at the same time, I was used to men asking me for stuff. Oh, can you give me money for my phone bill? No, I cannot <laughs> give you money for your phone bill. <laughs> no, I cannot. You are not, I'm just, I've talked to you for a week. And you asked me for money. Like, that was what I was used to. I hear, I hear that a lot. I hear that a lot. That's sad. What? It really is. I hear, yeah, I hear it a lot. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's women out there that'll give me money for my cell phone plan? What? I'm kidding. There's <laughs> <laughs> no more than that. But so that's what I was used to as a man. We yeah. talking on the phone for a week, and you like, oh, can I have some money? Can you drive me to me? Like, I'm like, what are you asking me? That, that, that's so You're talking about that independent? So you like, like independent? Right! And my first thing like, like, that When, when I hear these horror stories from like, a, like number of women, I'm, like, it's so foreign to me because I'm like, that really happens to you? They're like, yes. yes. It happens. I'm like, what? Yeah. I, I still, like, it, it's just, it, I would never in a million years, even like if I was dating somebody for like two years, be like, hey, can you give me a little bit of money for my phone? Or, yeah. I'll, know, find like, I'll, I'll find a way. I'll find a way. Even going to New York, like driving to New York, like I'll take the train. You know, it's right. I, I don't know. I just that <laughs> maybe I'm built different, but like I, that's just. I think when you're in a like a committed relationship, that you y'all invest the time. Whatever y'all discuss between y'all, that's between y'all. I don't think it's you can judge. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people be like, "Well, I wouldn't do that." Well, I, but that's between y'all. Yeah. Definitely, if you're my husband, what's mine is yours, what's yours is mine. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like because a lot, and I'm speaking for most women, but I don't obviously know, but women have dealt with that. So they're on guard. I was super on guard. I'm like, he's going to ask you for something, he's going to go. And it's a major turn off. We don't like that because if we're not asking you for anything, why are you so comfortable asking us for something when you know it's 30 minutes? You know what I'm saying? So. But in that situation, I saw where I went wrong, 
that I like had to be like, man, you really like mess with him. And he was older than me, so yeah. he probably wasn't yeah. used to that. So yeah. I probably did some damage, not realizing, you know, not doing it on purpose, but I learned from that. And so now I have learned to really watch your words and how you say things to men. Not saying, you know, when you're when you're with someone alongside of someone, you should protect their ego. You should protect, you know what I'm saying? You always want the person who you're with to be esteemed. So I learned from that situation, your words definitely have power. And so the way that you phrase it is important. You know what I mean? But I feel like a lot of women have been in that position to where they haven't experienced a man stepping up and being that example and treating a woman like that. So they always it's have to throw up. Right. Like so rare. they always have to throw off that I don't need you for nothing. Yeah, which that's is true. Yeah. But you get what I'm saying? That's why they can't take a compliment. Right. Yeah. That's why the, yeah. so the independence actually is not independent. It's hey, I'm just close off. And that's the yeah. disguise. It makes it makes it sound good to the woman that they're independent, yeah. but in reality, it just closed off because yeah. they think all men are terrible, yeah. and they're not open to right. something else. Yeah. It's so amazing. Women want a relationship, but they're closed off. Yeah, and they don't realize they're closed off until like someone tells them that they're closed off, and they're like fighting them, like, "No, I'm not closed off." And it's like, "Well, yeah, you are." Yeah, you are. <laughs> and yeah, it's you so are. like, it's like if I say, "Hey, you look nice today," it's like, "Oh, yeah." They just say thank you, thank you, and and just say thank you. Like I'm this is a genuine compliment. Like, this is part of the healing process. Like yeah. I'm trying to tell you and affirm that you look great. Just say thank you. And like it's hard. But again, most women that you meet like have a hard time taking compliments, and that says a lot to me too. That's why initially when you say something, you, well, yeah. you compliment them, you get a feel for like how they respond. But I also think they were like like. Kind of going back to the compliment, they also expect that there's more to the compliment. Yeah, just that's, that's, that's like, I was like, no, it's just a compliment. Right, you know? yeah. Like I'm just, I'm in a great mood. You look fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell you so. And I'm gonna go about my day. Right. Yeah. Like, know, where's he going with this before I respond? Nowhere. Right? You look good. <laughs> you look good. Look like you, you know. I, I, I saw another girl uh, I, that I haven't seen since high school, and she's been working out, taking care of herself. I ran into her the other day. I'm like, you look absolutely fantastic. Cause she did. She looked really good. Like she got into running. She was uh, going to the gym. She was eating healthy. She was doing better in her career. You look absolutely fantastic. Gave her a hug. Kept it moving. There's like there's nothing. Like it's not like oh you know what, what, how how do you say uh, that you get approached by a woman? I'm not like oh let me get your number. I, I can't say it the way you did. Right. But I, like I can't like no. Like, body like, comment. Like, yeah. No. I no. You, but you, you but you just this. the thing that you're doing though is you're. You're doing what should be done. It's like you're just planting good seeds. That's it. And, and so, because like I bet, I bet you her interaction with you after she left, she felt differently than someone said it in a different way. So like, okay, you're, you're that planting good seeds. Yeah. Like, because the way you said it was like really not aggressive. It was like just casual. Like, hey, I'm done. Like this is all I came to do. Like, bye. Yeah. And it wasn't like so a woman would feel like, wow, okay, this is like, and I tell you, it's all about the approach too. As you like, it's just how you say stuff. Is how they interpret it. Yeah, and you're you're just so casual. You're planting good seeds. So now it's like that standard is like in her mind. That's a standard that she has for the next interaction she has with the man. And, and so that's that's great. hopefully. Think, yeah. 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 What, what you do? You put a, a panel of good men. Like yeah. you said, you said have you said a panel. Yeah, no, we, we got we got we got to find a scumbag. <laughs> we got to find a scumbag. Yeah, put them right here, and we're putting them on the line. Like we're we're we're, we're speaking with them. Yeah, we're, we're trying like, like you know, listen. And so, because um, <laughs> um, we all live through our experiences, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we so certain men, like I was raised by a single parent too. Like my mom, different different guys coming in and out, mm -hmm. treating her wrong. Um, so I started to show my aggressive side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they said, "Oh, chill. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do right." But um, it we were all raised through our experience. Like um, I want to treat on like how would my mom be treated. Right, like how my sister be treated, my nieces, right? Um, but some men, especially mostly men who, who are a single child, they're, yeah. they're like, no, right? They they just like, hey, just, I'm gonna just be me, right? Mm -hmm. um, but, so it's just definitely a part of experience. But um, outside of men, we gotta start holding other men accountable too. Right. Like, well, and I, 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 I do I, I do that to my brother. It's kind of weird. He was like, you were checking me, like, like why? I just want to know why. But why but but, but and to that point, like we all don't start out as good. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we all start out like you know at 
Okay. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, it's like, big, like this is like developed. Like, yeah. I, like I used to be so insecure as a person, I couldn't imagine giving myself or, or somebody else a compliment. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's like, it, it definitely takes work to get to this place. And a lot of, I think personally, a lot of men just aren't willing to put in the work on themselves to get to that level where they're able to treat a woman how she should be treated. They want what's but was it, yeah. but, um, My question, was it a, a confident woman who, who opened your eyes to that? To like, dang, I could be a more genuine guy. I could be yeah. more respectful. Was there one? Yeah. yeah. Without there that. was one for me. There, there's, yeah. always, there's, always, there's always a girl that I, I feel right. like somebody else. And to that point, a good woman will help a guy grow into a better person. I think that's fair. I always used to say that. Yeah. Because cause the whole men are trash thing, I said it takes the right woman to want that to a change. Mm-hmm. I always said that. And that's why when you see somebody and they're like, oh, he's trash, I feel sorry for her. And I'm like, but then their relationship going well. I'm like, she was the right woman for him to yeah. bring that out of him. Yeah. So that is a thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even, even, even sometimes it's an ex. Like, it's an ex, and you're just like, dang. This is what she meant, right? This is what she was trying to show me. Um, you just be like, dang. The right, the right. The thing is, no one, no one can change someone else because that's that's not them doing it on their own. Mm-hmm. The right person, man or woman, will make the other person want to be better. Right. And Correct. change. Correct. That, and that's yeah. that's that's that's, what, that's the choice right. in your mind. You're like, wow, this the person came out to my life. Wow, like, I literally want to just. I can't let this go. <laughs> right. I'm gonna work. But like, but, no, but it's but it's it's on both sides, a man and a woman. Like, yeah. it takes that right person. To, like, I was lucky that my mom early on taught me this kind of stuff. Yeah. Like, what's what is like to have an independent person? My mom's stubborn. Yeah. She, you know. Yeah. But but like she's but but like she gave me a foundation. I was like, okay, I lead that into the relationships I'm in. So some of those qualities, I'm not looking for my mom. Trust me. I'm. I'm <laughs> Cause like, but 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 I don't mean that in a bad way. No, but I'm, I get looking, but I'm looking for the things that she brings to the table that she that she taught me. Yeah. That I think would be a really great foundation for her life. Absolutely. Um, and and that's you know I think unfortunately a lot of people don't have like those great influences early on. Mm-hmm. They get them later, but it doesn't mean they're bad people. I, it just I, means I, they, need, they need work. They yeah, need, uh, but no. you, got, you got to be willing to do the work too. Absolutely. You, get, you definitely got to be willing to do the work, and you got to yeah. be able to put yourself in comp- uh, situations that are constantly uncomfortable yeah. right like you know i think a, a, a big shift in my life and where I, I actually found out that i was treating people better you know where i, I didn't realize how badly i was treating people until i kind of had this shift and i started hanging out with people who were better than me in every way shape or form you know i started hanging out with people who were doing better than me financially i was hanging out with people who were stronger than me i was hanging out with people uh, spiritually, who are better than me? Yeah, everybody knows Pastor Kev. Like, I, Pastor like, Kev. I, I mean, he's just, you know, him and his, him and his wife. Like, on, Bob. A scale, on a scale of one to ten, on the Christian scale, I'm like a two. So if I hang out with them, maybe I'll be a five. You know, so it's like, it's like, it's like putting yourself, but to be humble in that situation, right? Where you can Absolutely. actually be like, look, I'm not the best at this, but I can get better if I hang out with these people and do what they're doing, and vicariously through that, especially as a man, I feel like that's when you're in the best position to treat a woman appropriately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can get from that. We, we give away more. You can get from one. give away more. Yeah. And that's, that's what it's about. It's like, how do men fill their toolbox to treat women right? How do women fill their toolbox to be treated right? And, mm-hmm. and, and that's, you know, that's really the key. That's like gem. That yeah, is a gem. That's a gem. That is a gem. That's a gem. I, you want to repeat Cut that? It. Cut it. Cut it. Cut <laughs> it. How do, so it's, it's, how do, how do men continue to fill their toolbox to be able to treat women right? And how do women fill their toolboxes to be treated right? Yes. Okay. You're you, in. You, 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 you ain't got no more questions after that. No, I don't. No, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, but, I do. <laughs> but for the sake of time, these are both yes or no responses. So we can kind of just yeah, go both in line, yes or yeah, no, yeah, yeah. go into questions and we're going to end it because I think we hit in an hour. But listen, okay. real quick though, I think we should have a part two at some point. Um, I'm just going to plug it yeah, we'll, 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 we'll <laughs> in. Whenever, whenever you're ready. Yeah, we'll, we'll all keep, keep uh, filling the toolbox That's and then we'll come back in like two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Listen, because like, you come back around too, like we ain't going to be the same people we are today. Absolutely. No. So okay. in a good Absolutely. way, like, we're, yeah. we're coming with more, you know. But I'm thinking about you know, and and Elijah is going to dress like he's going to the cookout, and I'm going to dress like I. Like, oh my God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to bed. We're going to switch. We're coming in.
comfortable. Real comfortable. comfortable. Anyway, go ahead. I thought about bringing a couple of ladies in here so we could kind of. Oh, so it's like the best. Oh, yeah. I think, I think that would be our next thing. What y'all think? Drop in the comments below and let me know. All right? <laughs> Bell so, the sexes, I like that. That's it. Yeah. But we're gonna be nice and kind to each other. <laughs> so, quick question, two questions, just no answer. Do you feel like confident women get the respect they deserve? Yes or no? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. And is not having or lack of confidence a deal breaker? Yes or no? Yes. Absolutely. One hundred percent. Okay. Well, there you have it, okay? So we got deep, all right? But we're going to do a part two. I feel in my spirit we need a podcast, okay? So I'm going to drop everybody's information below, IG handles, okay? If y'all want to, you know, check out these guys' businesses, their services, all that good stuff, ask them a question, you know, it's your business, Okay? So, with that being said, I will catch y'all every other Monday on Confident Mondays. Hey, real quick, real quick, Ooh, before we go, quick. we got we got to edify you and just thank you for thank thank thank, thank, thank you, you for being a confident woman. woman. Yeah, <laughs> thank, thank, thank you for what you're doing yeah. to impact women. Hundred um, percent. Thank you for what you're doing to impact like the communities. Like it's bigger than just like us having fun today. Like you're you're making an impact and you're doing it consistently. So, like, just want to celebrate you too before we go. And you're willing to have this conversation because this yeah. ain't that it's not it's not an easy conversation to have. With three yeah. type A's? With three, yeah. Three type A's. Yeah. 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 You think so? Oh, and, no. and a half. I'm like, I'm like, two, two and a half? He's, he's, yeah. he's whatever he has to be. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we, we all are, whatever I gotta be. I know. I'll boost myself. Oh, okay. 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 See, okay. Okay. Hey, I'm telling you, we go to the bar because he's got that smile and that slant. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Wait to camera. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>